Hey guys, what's up? So before we start our test item, guys, we first need to understand a few things about your nightmaric spawn or your summon. First is his attack pattern, guys. Basically, guys, uh, he does two basic attacks and then he does a death ray which can also stun opponents. Now, this death ray, guys, is also considered a skill. So your nightmaric spawn actually casts a skill of his own. Uh, also, guys, although it's not mentioned in the skill description, the basic attack and skill of your Nightmaric Spawn actually increases with your magic power. So the more magic power you have, the more damage your Nightmaric Spawn does. Now, uh, that might have been an obvious info, guys, but since it wasn't stated in your skill description, I felt that it's something we had to mention. So anyways guys, since your Nightmaric Spawn does basic attacks and skills, it's only logical that the item effects would work on the Nightmaric Spawn as well. And we're gonna test out all the items that matters guys and see which item suits Zask and his spawn the best. First guys is the Feather of Heaven. Now what we want from this item guys is the unique passive affliction and it says deals 40% of the hero's AP. AP guys is your attack power as additional magic damage. Now will this effect carry over on your nightmaric spawn? Well let's check it out guys. And as you can see guys it can. So this 40% additional AP damage not only applies on your own basic attacks but on your spawn as well and that's freaking awesome guys it's like you bought two items for you and your spawn by the way guys your nightmaric spawn also benefits from the 30% attack speed it provides although uh, you won't notice it much since every two basic attacks your spawn does a skill Now next up guys is the Cursed Helmet and as you all know, Cursed Helmet deals magic damage per second to nearby enemies. So let's go check it out guys if your Nightmaric Spawn will carry this aura as well. The 44 magic damage guys comes from the Cursed Helmet. Now we're gonna check if it works on you and your Nightmaric Spawn both at the same time. And as you can see guys, it does. So it's like having a times 2 effect of the Curse Helmet since it works on you and your Nightmaric Spawn as well. Awesome, right? But we're not really sure if Curse Helmet is actually good for Zask. But anyways, we're just here to check out the effects that can carry over on your spawn, guys. So anyways, guys, next up is the Demon Hunter Sword. Now what we want here is the unique passive Devar which says basic attacks will deal 10% of the target's current HP as additional physical damage. Now, let's go check it out, guys. And as you can see, guys, it works. How awesome is that? And look at that damage, guys. And it works on you. And on your spawn as well. So you kind of can see, guys, that the 10% of the target's current HP damage that we get from this item can now be considered 20% when both you and your spawn are targeting the same target. Right? Right? Well, technically, yeah, guys. You can say that the effects have doubled. Next up, guys, is the glowing wand. Now we're gonna check if the unique passive Scorch will carry over. Basically, guys... Uh, Scorch is whenever a skill hits an opponent, it will burn them dealing 2% and 2.5% and 3% of the target's current HP. Basically guys, it burns them 3 times and as expected guys, it works. And again, uh, it works for you and for your spawn. So you can burn your target twice as much if you buy this item. And pretty much on all the other items, guys. Curse Helmet, Feather of Heaven, Demon Hunter Sword, and this glowing wand. We can certainly say that you are getting times to the effects since your Nightmaric Spawn also makes use of it. Now, next up, guys, is the Deadly Blade and Necklace of Durance. And 
as you'll see guys, they work as well. Both you and your Nightmare Expand can reduce the healing effects of any heroes by 50%. However, on this one guys, we needed more tests since we don't know if you are getting the times to effect as well. Uh, we'll make a separate video on this one and show you the results. And uh, it's really gonna be sad if you get a total of 100%. Well, Estes will be sad, but I'm thinking that it really would. Now, next up, guys, is the Corrosion site. Now, with this one, guys, its unique passive basically lets you slow down your opponents whenever you basic attack at them. And it has a 50% chance. Now, we're gonna test out if this can carry over on your Nightmaric Spawn. Now, on this one, guys, it's my opponent who has the Corrosion site. And as you can see, guys, I'm getting slowed. And that means it works. Now, if you take a closer look, guys, at my stats, you'll see that my attack speed and movement speed have decreased. Now, since you and your Nightmaric Spawn has this ability, then you have more chance on slowing down your target because the chance to slow down your target every basic attack is just 50%. Although, again, guys, I'm not sure if the actual item is good for Zask. I mean... The unique passive sounds great for him, but the actual item, I'm not sure. Now, anyways, guys, we'll stop for now since we don't want some information overload. Uh, we'll just finish up on the next items on our next video. By the way, guys, we've already made a video testing all the lifesteal items for Zaz and his nightmare spawn. And if you haven't watched that yet, we've put the link in the description below. Now guys, these are all the items that we've tested on this video. Now, after all the tests we've made, guys, what items do you think will benefit Zast the most? Well, for me, guys, I'd recommend the Feather of Heaven and Glowing Wand. Uh, those items having double effects because of your Nightmare spawn is really something, guys. And you really need to take advantage of the unique effects your Nightmare spawn offers. Now, the Demon Hunter Sword is tempting, guys. The 10% current HP damage is really a lot. And it sounds great, but it isn't really for mages, guys. And I haven't tested it out myself, so I'm not gonna recommend it. Now, uh, we're gonna make a part 2 video of this item effect, so do like and subscribe our channel, guys. That's it. Thanks. Hey, guys. Just a quick info. You have a chance to win a totally free skin. All you need to do is subscribe on my channel. Turn on the notification, the bell icon, like this video, and comment down below your in-game name, ID number, and the skin of your choice that is under 300 diamonds. That's all guys.